There's a little uh, taste of uh, Golden Child, uh, the single called Drunk Off Your Love, and we got uh, Golden Child here. Golden. How you doing? Great to have you here all the way from North Carolina. Love to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Love to be here. So uh, we've been sort of chatting just before you came on, but uh, let's get to know you a little bit. You're from, uh, well, we found out you're from a small town small in town. Uh, North Carolina called Kinston. Kinston. And uh, we used to have a guy from North Carolina here on the station. John Avery was a football player, but you yeah. stopped watching sports a long time ago. Yeah. Why? Did you just get into the music? music. Is that what happened? Yeah, I really don't have a lot of time for television. <laughs> no? No, yeah. I just put all my focus to music, man. Just music, that's about it. So what's the, I mean, what's the story? Like, how old were you uh, when, uh, like, that you decided you wanted to get into music? Was there something you, maybe you saw, so you, was there a musician or, or like some moment where you said, that's what I want to be doing? Well, yeah, I was like, um, I was 11 around the time when I first started. And uh, what really got me focused was I was at a family barbecue and I was like singing. And my mom, she listened to me sing. And I always sing to myself because I always like music. But my mom actually heard me sing. And when she heard it, she said, you need to quit playing so much. Maybe if you quit playing so much, you could probably go somewhere with it. So, you know, ever since that moment there, man, I just wanted to pursue it. Just hear and tell me I could probably do something with it that really encouraged me and motivated me to go. So ever since then I've been on it. Okay. Been so you, you're just you're doing the singing, or do you do, you do some uh, like uh, rap yeah, stuff as well? Yeah, singing rap. Yeah. Singing okay. Rap, yeah. So now, how does that work? Um, do you do you put a like a group of guys together to 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 be able to put a live uh, performance together, or did? You, or do you just kind of work on your own? Yeah, mo for the most part, it's on my own. I just get in the studio, put the track in, get the pen and the pad, and cook. That's about it. And that's yeah. it, eh? Yeah. So, I mean, it's, um, you know, there's a lot of people that want to do music, right? But yeah. it's another thing to um, to do it in a way that, uh, that you're able to get into a studio and do professional yeah. recordings and and then get picked up by management and you're working with uh, stomp right yes entertainment here in toronto yes and um do, you know kind of what's the story of how you got from where you started to where you are now well uh if i go that far back we'll be talking for days but uh, <laughs> i guess i'll push it up a little further um you know i, I do have a guy kino kino he he's pretty much a manager to me and uh, he's he's just my guy that's he's on this road with me and um you know he he do a lot of networking on you know the facebook's and youtubes and you know things like that and he connected with stop right yeah and um he was trying to he sending them music and getting at him and at first you know they really wasn't acknowledging go to child at the beginning but um I, I think you know from talking to from talking to them you know they they actually took the time out to listen to the CD. Mm -hmm. And when they heard the CD, they heard the talent, you know, and they seen the potential in me. So they reached out to us, finally. And um, ever since then, we've been rocking and rolling, man. Since then. Well, it's interesting to think about what it takes to make it in the music yeah. industry these days because the yeah. industry's so changed with oh, yeah. the downloading. And it's, you know, in the old days, you could put out a record and everybody would buy it. And you'd yeah. make a million bucks. Yes. But, uh, I mean, you mentioned uh, you're here in Toronto. Uh, I, uh, when did you get into town? I've been here now for about a week and a half. And how long b before you go elsewhere? Are you gonna um, be? I'm going to be I'm gonna be here for about another two months, two and a half really? months. Yeah, right so now you're going to be here for the summer? Oh, yes, the whole summer. Wow. The whole summer. We're working on the next CD and um, working on the video. Uh, matter of fact, on the, tw the 30th and the 1st, we'll be shooting the video for Drunk Off Your Love. And um, right after that, we're planning the CD release party, too. So, Do you know where that's going to be yet? Some exciting things coming. Huh? Yeah. Well, it sounds like you're going to have... I yeah. mean... It's going to be... Um, we're going to do the release party at Garage Studios. Oh, that's stuff. great. Yeah. That's, that's an awesome spot. Yeah. Um, we'll have to go down there and uh, check it out. Here it come. So, uh, <laughs> um, you mentioned you're in town for, you know, for the summer by the sound of it. But you also mentioned that you're so busy. Yes. Working. Yes. T to get the music out there and to put it out there. Um, what is it in your mind that, um, that you need to, to make it in the music business these days? You got to have a grind about yourself, you know, and, and a very good work ethic. You know, with me, I wake up music, go to sleep music. I eat music. I breathe music, you know, so that's all I want to do. 
you know, and I think in order to, to get to that next level, you, you have to, like, keep going and keep grinding, keep writing, you know, stay in tune with what's brand new, try to, you know, stay on the same level that these the, the mainstream artists are on, and I stay focused on what I'm doing so I can get to that next level with them. And like I said, in the, at, at the end of the day, I'm doing music, and in the, in the morning I'm waking up doing it again. You know, and I just think that if you do, it's just not even just music, just anything that you're passionate in it or anything that you're in love with, you know, just grinding hard, you'll eventually get where you're going at mm-hmm. and really loving it. You know? Yeah. What, what kind of stuff do you write about? What kind of so, subject matter? Some of, some of everything, life experience. A lot of my songs is about, you know, love and relationships, um, you know, just going through a struggle, you know, those type of things, you know, um, a lot tons of stuff. Whatever comes to my mind, I try to like I try to try to put my life into a lot of my songs, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, try to stay away from a lot of the party stuff. You know, you know, a lot of the party stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because some of the songs that's that's out now is, you know, of course we'll do it for the party, do it for the clubs, man. But I think that music is flipping a little bit, you know, on the hip hop side of things. I think it's flipping, and um, a lot of this music now don't have any substance to it. You know, you really can't learn anything from it. So. Um, I try to stay away from that, you know. So you're trying to give it some substance. Yeah, yeah I try to give it some substance. Do you yeah. think? Uh, do you think the market um, wants that? I think they need that, you know. You know, a lot of people, you know, it's really not about what you want; it's what you need. And if you if you keep pushing it to them, they eventually. Okay, okay, what about this? Here in Toronto for the summer. Yes. So, uh, you, you, like you said, you've been too busy to kind of really. Just have fun, yeah. Relax and enjoy it because yeah. it sounds like it's almost work every day. Um, yes. Are you going to so you're doing the, the release party? Are you doing any performances uh, that people can look forward to? Oh, yes. Um, of course, the release party we're going to be performing. We're working on a couple of shows right now, and I um, don't really have the, the dates right offhand at the moment, but um, just stay tuned to Facebook and uh, the websites. We're going to have everything we're doing on the websites and on Facebook and the MySpace and all the rest of the sites. So we'll have you spent a lot of time. I mean, we, I was asking you before we came uh-huh. on, you know, how you hooked up with Stomp Right, how you hooked up with Blue, yeah. who's here in the studio today. Yeah. And you, you said it was all the networking, the social yes. networking, Facebook and all that kind of stuff. Do you spend a lot of time? On, on the Facebook. computer every day, just doing all that kind of stuff? Yes, yeah, I, do, I do spend a nice little bit of time on my yeah. phone or the laptop. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's one of the two. The phone or the laptop. You know, just staying active on the page so everybody you know I'm still around, I'm still moving. You know, people like to see you moving. You know, They don't want to go to a dead page. So mm-hmm. we keep it active. Definitely keep it active. Now, uh, okay, so uh, are you, now you're working on some recording. Is, yes. is it going to be a full-length uh, CD? Yes, yeah, so we're going to probably have about 16 to, to 18 songs on it. Um, a lot of great producers are going to be on it. Um, it's going to have a lot of substance to it. I'm going to be talking about a lot of different things. You know, um, I know it's going to be a treat for everybody. It's going to be a nice CD, and uh, we're putting in a lot of time, a lot of energy into it. So, I hope working, everybody love it. And you're doing that here in Toronto? Yeah, here in Toronto. So you're working with Toronto producers and yes. uh, performers and stuff like that. How yes. are you finding the, you know, the community here in Toronto in terms of? Uh, you know, just the chemistry or maybe the talent of the people that you're working with? Yeah. I love Toronto, man. I love Canada. I mean, Canada's a different place. It's friendly here. I mean, it's it's a different type of air. Like, it's a different vibe here, you know? Yeah. Um, as long as we don't lose any hockey games. So who? As long as we don't lose any hockey games. Like hockey games? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that on TV the other day. Yeah. That was wild. That was a wild situation. Yeah, that's what happens. No. I, I know. I mean, when I first got here, I thought it was this real nice place. Everybody's friendly. Everybody's smiling. And when I seen it on TV, I said, wow, they love their hockey. Yeah, well, it's those Vancouverites. <laughs> we would never do anything like that here in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How did you even choose Toronto to come here? Um, it was my management team. They're based out of here in, okay. in Toronto. Stop so. right? Stop right management, yeah. Okay, so the new single, Drunk Off Your Love, so are you, uh, is it out there now? Is it getting uh, airplay yet? Can people buy that? Yes, it's on iTunes. Yeah? Yes, it's on iTunes, so you can go download it, 99 cents, good song. Um, and you can, like I said, you can go to the Facebook page, um, the website, stompbrightentertainment.com. You can go to goldenchild.com. Uh, all the sites will definitely lead you to that direction to get that song. Okay. 
All right. And uh, now we always ask a question uh, to everyone that comes on the show. Okay. Because, you know, uh, 2012 is just around the corner. You know, the Mayan calendar is coming to an end. Yeah. Right? People are yeah. thinking, you know, it's, something's going to happen. Uh, there's going to be a comet come in or whatever. Do yeah. you have any thoughts about that? What's going to happen in 2012? Um, wait till that time come. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to, uh, I don't know. I hope it don't go nowhere, but uh, when it's time, it's time. Any thoughts you want to yeah. leave us with? I mean, I guess we have uh, the good fortune of having you in Toronto for the summer and we yeah. look forward to uh, some of these events and, and the new record and stuff that you're putting out. But uh, any final thoughts you want to leave people with? Maybe get ready. Gold is in Canada. I love Canada. That CD is coming and we're going to put it down. Also working on this music video, Junk Off Your Love, the single, it's going to be off the chain. I couldn't even freshen up today. We're going to have a weird, uh, it's going to be a very good uh, storyline behind it. So. But um, y'all get ready for that video and get ready for more to come. I'm also working on the next single. I'm not going to give you the name yet, but just get ready for it. And I appreciate y'all bringing me here. Let me All right. Here. Well, listen, thanks for coming in today. And we're going to give that to track one more spin because as we were saying before you came on you know you listen to a song the first time yeah. maybe you don't know what to make of it but the second time you go oh I really like that that's true so so let's listen to it Drunk Off Your Love and uh, thanks Golden Child for coming in today great to meet Thank you, you and uh, all the best